this week we will be drawing some caroling reindeer and caroling is when you go around usually during the Christmas holidays and it's not common to do anymore because it's just not safe and um, a lot of people um, frown upon it if because of diff they have different religions and stuff but back in the day it was it was common for a lot of people to get together and sing Christmas songs um, door to door or from store to store in towns and sing Christmas carols and they would dress up in Christmas outfits and sing Christmas carols to people as they stood outside and sang and people would go to their doors and windows and watch but <clears throat> we're just going to draw some cute little cartoon reindeer caroling and learn a little bit about reindeers and you're going to have you're going to have some images of real reindeers to look at so you can see what different reindeers look like and reindeers are real they are large members of the deer family they live in herds of up to a few hundred of them together they can run up to 50 miles per hour they can get up to 400 pounds in weight and they can get up to five feet tall just at the shoulder that's not when they lift their heads and their antlers that's just at their shoulders up to five feet tall so their heads make them a lot taller if you were to add that in there and they have a full covering of fur and felt because a reindeer's body this fur and the felt helps them to stay warm during the winter and their snowy places that they live in um they even have fur on their hooves and reindeers are found in alaska greenland northern europe and all of these are cold snowy places so that's where they live cold snowy places so they would need all that fur and felt to keep them warm now also i hope you enjoy your enrichment that goes along with this week and it's going to last from this um from this week to through next week because it's kind of long and it's about a reindeer named olive who just is a, has a really cute christmas story about um wanting actually wanting to be a reindeer now um we're gonna go ahead and start with our drawing which is just using lines and shapes different lines and different shapes to achieve our um, Carol and reindeer here, which is what we've been doing all year long. So it's just basically review of lines and shapes So we're going to start with our middle reindeer And you're gonna we're gonna start with his head. You're gonna draw an oval shape And then another oval shape that's going to connect at the bottom of the, the first oval shape and this is going to be his mouth where they have their mouths wide open because they're just singing their little hearts out and then we're going to draw two rectangular shapes that come down And you're going to color this in, except for those two rectangular shapes that come down, because those are going to be their teeth. Now, connected to this oval shape, 
I'm going to start at the bottom of each side of that first oval shape. We are going to draw another oval shape. So bring that on down and around, taking it back up. And then we're going to draw just two U-shapes, sideways U-shapes, in from the side of each of each side of that oval. That's for his arms. And next, we're going to draw two rectangular shapes that are kind of connected together to make like a book that has hymns in it, Christmas songs, Christmas hymns. So I just line straight up and a line kind of goes vertically up and then a line straight down and keep that one a little bit shorter than this one, than the center one and bring it that line over vertically down to the other side. And you can do the same thing on the other side, just go back up to the other corner of the oval, bring that line straight down and through, and back to the center so that it meets, and you have two rectangles for a hymn book. And then you're just going to draw like a bow shape here. The circle in the middle, and just bring another kind of circular shape around, and just for some detail, add two little lines in there. Next, we're going to add his legs. And that's another rectangle shape, and we're going to bring another rectangle shape down, and then two lines down for his hooves and upside down V shape in between those to connect them together. Same thing here, two lines down, upside down V shape to get it to connect them together. And then we're going to give him a nose. And they have pretty big noses. You can color those in red like Rudolph's or you can choose to leave them black. That is entirely up to you. And for the antlers, we're just going to give him some really curvy lines. And, so, and then bring some curves off of them. So just a curvy line. And you can add as many curves as you want. Your antlers can be just as curvy as you want them to be. So you just bring curvy lines up and off and around. And there you have your first reindeer with his tooth and his hymn book. And then we're just going to do the same exact thing, only a little larger with our next reindeer. So our first oval. And then we're not going to close that off because we're going to make our bows a little bit bigger on this one. A circle in the middle and that bow shape. Two little lines on each side of the circle. And then another oval shape that is connected to the bow. And then our two rectangular shapes up at the top. And color those mouths in. Now we're going to do another oval shape that comes off of each side of the bottom of that first oval shape, just like we did with the first one. So we're basically just repeating the same thing over again. We're just making this one 
bigger and taller. <clears throat> We're going to bring those lines in. Are those sideways U's in, U shapes for his arms? The straight line in the middle. Further rectangles. Take that vertical line up. The line straight down. <clears throat> Skipping over our arm. And meet it back down to that line in the center for the book. Line straight up. And down. Then meet it back in the center for our book. Now, is the rectangle legs, one on each side of the bottom of that oval, and then the two lines down, upside down V to connect them, two lines down for the hoof, and upside down V in the middle to connect them. <clears throat> now, we're not going to forget, we're going to put another nose on this one. Like I said, don't forget, you can choose what color your noses are. If you want your red like Rudolph's, you can choose one of them or make all three of them Rudolph. It's up to you. And then our curvy lines. Curvy and wavy lines. For just curve them around. Brings little curves out, curls off of them. The curly line. And another wavy line would curl at the end and bring curls off wherever and however you want them. And there we have our second reindeer and his teeth drawing in the mystery swing and use pencil. And eraser first. Now, <clears throat> the last one. And we're going to do basically the same exact thing again. So we have just repeated ourselves three times. Just in different sizes. So here goes our first oval shape. And we're going to add that circle. And put a bow in there to connect the bottom of our oval shape. And then another kind of oval shape inside of there again with our two rectangle shapes coming down at the top for his teeth and coloring that in. And uh, this one's his his body's a little bigger, so he's his is more round than oval. But you can continue to leave yours an oval if you need to. And he's going to be kind of behind because this smaller one's in more in the foreground, so he's going to kind of be behind. So you're not going to be able to go all the way around. You're just going to kind of have to eyeball him and connect him to the little guy in the foreground because he's in the background <laughs> now we have our two u-shapes coming in from the sides that are holding our rectangular two rectangular shapes that make our book up And our next rectangle shape, bring that down and connect it to our next rectangle shape. 
And then we're going to bring a rectangle, long rectangle shape down. These are going to have some longer legs than the rest. And the two lines on each side of those rectangles, connect them together with the upside down V. Two lines on each side, connect them together with a V. And let's not forget our nose back up at the top. And then our wavy lines with curls on them. For detail to those antlers. Because they do have very big antlers. That curve out in all different kinds of ways. As you'll see in the images. That are attached. For you to look at. And there we have our caroling. A caroling reindeer and you can color your books and your bows whatever colors you want and generally reindeers are brown or kind of a grayish color sometimes it just depends on the fur but most of them are brown so you, you would just need to finish coloring in your reindeer your Hymn books or Christmas Carol, Christmas Carolyn books, whichever you want to call them, and his bow ties. There are all three of them's bow ties, and they can be whatever colors you want them to be. That is entirely up to you. And also, I hope you enjoy our real lab, which is the littlest reindeer.